The former Panther and current Buffalo Bill called out Carolina and specifically Cam Newton. Benjamin said, quote, I just think Carolina was a bad fit for me. It was a bad fit from the get-go. If you would have put me with any other quarterback, let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Any other accurate quarterback like Aaron Rodgers or Eli Manning or Big Ben, anybody, quarterbacks with knowledge that know how to place a ball and give you a better chance to catch the ball. Wow. Then Cam posted this video on Instagram. <laughs> I ain't gonna go back and forth with him. I'm just gonna work, you feel me? That's all it is. <laughs> you know what it is. Just work, baby. All right, we had the quote and then we had the video. Shannon, what do you make of this? I just want to know when guys are going to take responsibility and accountability for what's going on in their life, Skip. I mean, was it Cam's fault that Kelvin Benjamin showed up at 280 plus pounds as a wide receiver? <laughs> and then he's going to say, well, you know, if I had Aaron Rodgers, then he put Eli. Eli? Eli? Well, he said anybody. It, it, yeah. Dude. Okay, you had Tyrod Taylor, Tyrod Taylor and Nathan Peterman. How'd you do last year? Mm. Now, this is what we know about Cam. Cam was rookie of the year. Without Kelvin Benjamin. He was. Cam Newton won the MVP the year of Kelvin Benjamin hurt. was hurt. Mm -hmm. So, Cam was like, if I had Antonio Brown or Julio Jones, I would be more accurate. Good point. I'm throwing the football where I think a six foot four, 230 pound receiver should be. In actuality, it's a 285 pound offensive lineman out there trying to run a comeback or a dig route. Hmm. Dude showed up at 280 pounds, but that's Cam's fault. Dude, you could do a lot worse than Cam Newton. Y'all make it. Is Cam Aaron Rodgers with his accuracy or Tom Brady? No. But, dude, Cam Newton is an MVP. Cam Newton is a damn good quarterback. Mm -hmm. And for you to be upset, I don't know what's going on now. It was reported that he lost his mom. And I get that, Skip. Sometimes when, when emotion is high, logic is really, really low. But to come out and, and take a shot at Cam, talking about it was a bad fit, no. The buffet was a bad fit because you ate, your, ate yourself out of a job in Carolina. Mm -hmm. That was the problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm tired of these athletes. It's always someone else's fault mm -hmm. other than their own. Mm -hmm. You did that to yourself. Skip, his rookie year, he had uh, 70, what, 73 catches over 1,000 yards, nine touchdowns, 145 targets. Mm -hmm. Had 900 yards three years later, and then he's like, bro, we can't. Mm. I mean, you, we we see your work ethic. We see how you come on, man. Mm -hmm. So you're in Buffalo. We go. You you don't have Cam. So now you got in, you say anybody. You got a bunch. You got Josh Allen. You got Peterman and uh, AJ McCarron. AJ McCarron. So let me see what you gonna put that work in up there, bro. Mm -hmm. Put that work in in Buffalo. You said anybody. Yeah. So we about to see. So right here, right now, would you rather have Cam Newton or AJ McCarron or Nathan Peterman or? Young Josh Allen, rookie Josh Allen. Who would you rather have? Hell, I take Woody Allen. Yeah. Okay, Woody Allen. Well, yeah. well, you, you in the end, you'd want to have. You'd want to have. Damn, Newton. come on, Skip. Yeah. This is not even. This dude is talking about he he anybody other than Cam Newton. Mm. That makes it seem like Cam Newton keep completing thirty percent of his balls. Is he a 68 percent guy like these top guys like Rogers or Breeze or Brady? Mm. No. But Cam's a good quarterback. Yep, he is. He's proven that. Yes. Again and again in this league. So, Kelvin Benjamin then tweeted that, that he, he needed to feel free. He needed to unburden himself. And I do understand that. Like, you got something on your chest that you truly believe that you were handicapped by this man in Carolina. And so you need to defend yourself by just releasing it publicly. I get that. But at what price? You exactly. have to ask yourself. Yes. At what price? You're going to better yourself and do what, Cam Newton? Because, look, Cam Newton still bears the burden of being a black quarterback. I don't mm -hmm. care what you say. And to call into question a black receiver calling into question his no. knowledge? Yes. Well, after all we've been through, after all the, the progress we have made, you and that, McDermott, you see what he coach in Buffalo? He just said no. He told him no. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong statement. He, he, he took him to task. Mm -hmm. And he should have, because it's just out of bounds. You just can't do it. And I, I get it that, that he needed to tell somebody, this is how I felt in Carolina. 
I don't think it's the truth. No. Even though may you you might have believed it, and and we got another. This is the diva receiver. You know how that goes. The, the, well, well, normally okay. diva receivers are really good. Yeah. The, uh, the, the A B and Odell and, and Mike Evans. These guys are really good. Yep. They don't normally. You know they. I know Terrell Owens was really good. Yes. Randy Moss was really good. Right. Yeah. So I, yeah. got, so yeah. you know we understand that they come along with yep. issues. Uh -huh. But you, you told me he had to get something off his chest. It was heartburn. Mm. Too many tacos. Two eighty. That's all I know. Two hundred and eighty pounds for a wide receiver. So what was Cam? What what Ross was Cam supposed to run? How was he supposed to throw him the ball? I don't know, but I don't think this is going to turn out so well for Kelvin because now he has brought a spotlight onto himself that I I wasn't paying that much attention now to. Now I got to watch. I got to watch. Now you got to watch. I got to watch the game. I got to watch the game because you, you got to critique. <clears throat> How did you catch today, Kelvin? AJ make you look like a star today? It, I think it's going to be AJ McCarron. Yeah, Cam was like, man, if I had AB, if I had Julio, mm. I would have that kind of completion percentage yep. like Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. But I didn't. But, and look at what happened when um he got hurt and Tay again. Mm -hmm. They would skip. They went to the Super Bowl without their number one receiver. Mm -hmm. Cam was the MVP, and it wasn't close without their number one receiver. Mm -hmm. So they, the Carolina Panthers had their best record. Quarterback had his best season without mm -hmm. you. Yep. And you and you talking about they held you back. Look mm -hmm. at Cam's numbers when you're not playing mm -hmm. and look at Cam's numbers when you are playing. And you tell me Cam is the, is, is, is the, is the problem. Mm. What did I tell you before the draft? I told you the best receiver is that kid from Maryland. DJ Moore and that, that he, he Dallas should have taken him. I still don't know why they didn't, but they didn't, and he fell down to Cam Newton. So let's see what DJ Moore does in Carolina. And again, North Turner. I'm not the biggest fan of North Turner, but we'll see how he does with Cam. Uh, North Turner's son is the quarterback coach. We'll see how that works out. But I can tell you that DJ Moore will be better long term or even short term than Kelvin Benjamin and Cortland Sutton. No? He's tearing it up in Cortland Denver. Sutton. Yes. Because if that's him, you read it down. Oh, they say he killing it. I know. Well, I, I said I loved him. They say he challenged it for a starting yeah. job, too. Mm. You think Dallas could have used that? Mm. Big body. Say, oh, you talking about high point in the ball? Mm. Say, all the 50 50 balls, he getting 75% yep. of them skipped. Mm. They say he remind you of somebody else you know. Yeah, meanwhile, in Cowboy Camp, that kid they took from Boise State, what's his name? Leighton something. I don't even Van know. Van Esch. <laughs> Leighton, Leighton Van, Van Der Esch. They say he's still running like third team. I don't know. Third he team? Hadn't taken over camp yet. Not yet. No. Just a little bit. I bet I can't, believe, I, can't even believe, I can't even believe Benjamin would say something like this. Mm. Talk about the man, knowledge. Yeah, well, guess who plays each other Thursday, Bills Panthers? Yeah. For all attention. I don't think uh, we probably won't see a no, whole lot of Cam. No, but I mean, we're going to. Cam, stay out of the room. Don't even. There. See? Now, see, if, if Cam do what, you know, double T, mm. got old Draymond, see, you talking all crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. you, you think you, you're. Is that what you're recommending? No, no, nah, nah, Cam, Cam, Cam. Cam did the right. I ain't going to go back and forth. Mm. Cam said, I'm out here living my best life. Mm. But. I know what Shannon Sharp would be if he were in Cam's shoes during warm-ups on yeah. Thursday night. I think you might venture out to the 50 and have a little something to say. Oh, I'd have been on the end of it. Oh, I'd have got him. Right? Oh, I, oh I'd have got him on the Ooh! Mm -hmm. With this platform, with the IG and Twitter, oh, yeah, I'd have got him. Oh, I'd have told him up. Yeah. Don't crush. Oh, I, oh, I'd have told. Him. Oh, I'd have got him. He knows what to do. Okay, well, you know, you might not be happy with this Vegas because they're saying the Lakers will not win fifty games. What? This Vegas don't know anything. Are they right? We'll discuss no, that no, next. No, no, Vegas. Watch out, right. Vegas.